word has more than one syllable, we put an accent mark on one of the syllables to show which syllable is accented. Remember, an accent is the part of the word that is louder, longer, and higher. The best place to try the accent of an unknown word is on the first syllable. So let's put the accent mark on the first syllable of this word. So if we don't know, we're going to try which syllable? The first. So we're going to put it here. One important thing to remember when coding words is that we always code vowels within that syllable. So, look at the letter A in this syllable. We're only looking at this chunk, okay? Alright, we have a vowel followed by a consonant. So, we know that this vowel is what, boys and girls? Yes, a vowel followed by a consonant is short, coded with a... Breathe. So this part says traf. This part says traf. Now let's go to this part. All right. We have a vowel followed by a consonant. So our vowel is short, coded with a breathe. All right. This is a C. It is making the K sound. We need to code it with a what, boys and girls? A K back. Now, let's sound the second syllable out. Fick. Fick. Now, let's put it together. Traf. Fick. Traffic. Put it together. Traffic. What word? Traffic. Yes, that word is traffic. Does that sound like a word you know? Absolutely. In the afternoons, Miss Spires is out front helping with the afternoon traffic at car duty. I help the boys and girls go home when they ride cars in the afternoon. There's lots of traffic, cars and trucks everywhere. Very good job. You think of a sentence that you could share with this word, traffic. Now, let me show you the rule for dividing a syllable and then we'll practice one more. So the vowel is short. 
and then you can sound out your word, napkin. All right, now let's code the word until. You guys are going to help me. We trade back. Okay, until, boys and girls, how many syllables are in this word? All right, there are two syllables because there are how many vowels? Yes, there are two vowels. What are our two vowels? U is our first vowel. I is our second vowel. Now, what is the second step? Yes, I have to look between it and find my consonant. Is in a consonant? Yes, it is. Is T a consonant? Yes, it is. Now I divide my syllables. Where do I divide my syllables? You always divide between the two consonants, between the N and the T. All right, the next thing I do, I put my accent mark on which syllable? We're going to put the accent mark on the first syllable. Now I can code each syllable. All right, the first syllable, I have a vowel followed by a consonant. So it is short, coded with a breathe. This syllable says un, un. Next syllable, I have a vowel followed by a consonant. It is short, coded with a breathe. Sound it out. Il, teal. Put it together. Un, teal. What word? Until. Until. Alright, now we could practice even going over make-believe words, but if you can divide and follow the rule, you can do any type of word. All right, on the back of your page, let's practice spelling. Number seven. B-A-S-K-E-T. Remember, you hear the 
Sunion. It is followed by E, which is E. So we spell with K in this word. Basket. That is tricky. Basket. Basket. Check your work. Number eight, contest, contest. I would love to win a coloring contest, contest. Tell me the sound you're hearing, contest. Get ready. C-O-N-T-E-S-T, contest. All right, listen, you begin with that C sound. Remember if it's E, I, or Y followed by it, you spell with K. If not, it's C. Contest. Contest. All right, let's check your work. Contest. C-O-N-T-E-S-T. -E contest. All right, it is not E-I or Y, so we spell with a C at the beginning of that word. Contest. Number nine. Admit. Admit. It's hard to admit when you make a mistake. Admit. Tell me the sounds you hear in admit. Ad. It. One more time. Ad. It. Admit. Number nine. Admit. Admit, A-D-M-I-T, admit. Okay, on the back, parents, make sure you have your children read these words to you. Check off if they were able to read them and have them orally spell them to you. Also, don't forget about the spelling test tomorrow. All right, now we're going to turn to worksheet nine, practice. This is very important practice. This is going to help them for the rest of second grade. There will be a lot of practice with syllable work this year. So we really need to focus here. If you forget, that's what that's there for. All right, 
we are going to code the words first, then sound them out, and then we'll see if there's a picture to match. Okay, so let's start on the first word. Boys and girls, how many vowels do you see in that first word? There are two vowels. We have A and I, put a vowel V under them. Now we look in between the vowels. We have S and T, are they consonants? Yes, they are. Code them with a C below. So we know they're consonants. Our rule says to divide, put our line of division between the two consonants. So where do we divide? We divide between the S and the T. So draw your line between. And we know our accent goes on the first syllable. So put it there. Now let's look at our first syllable. We have a vowel followed by a consonant. So the vowel is short. Code it. to the second syllable. You have a vowel followed by a consonant. The vowel is short. Code it. We also have a C. Our C needs a what, boys and girls? C needs a K back. Code it. Now we can go back and sound out our word. Let's sound it out. Plus, plastic, plastic. What word? Plastic. Yes, plastic. All right. Do we have a picture? We don't have a picture of plastic. So let's keep going. Number two, how many vowels? There are two vowels. Name your vowels. U and E. Label them. All right, in between we have two Ds. Are they consonants? Yes, they are. Label them. Our rule says to divide between the two consonants. Now, we need an accent on which syllable? The first syllable. And now we can code our vowels. A vowel followed by a consonant is? Short, code it. Second syllable, a vowel followed by a consonant is short, code it. Now we can sound it out. Sud, sud, d, n, d. Sudden, sudden, all right, sudden, like all of a sudden, I tripped and fell, sudden. Do we have a picture for sudden? No, we do not. So let's keep going. 
Our next one. Find our vowels. What are they? A and I. All right, look in between it. What are our consonants? Yes, the two Bs. All right, our rule says to divide between your consonants. The accent is on which syllable? First syllable. And now you can code. Vowel followed by consonant is short. And the next syllable, vowel followed by consonant is short. We can sound it out. Rab, rab, b, it, bit. Rabbit, what word? Rabbit. And we do have a picture of a rabbit. All right, I want you to pause the video and try four and five by yourself. Sound them out. And then we are going to check them. When you're ready, you'll press play and we'll check those together. Okay, number four, we have vowel A, vowel I, P, and K are your consonants. It is vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Divide between the P and the K. Your syllable is on the first, uh, excuse me, your accent is on the first syllable. All right, it's a vowel followed by a consonant is short, and a vowel followed by a consonant is short. And when you sound it out, n -ap, nap, in, kin, napkin. And here we're pointing to the napkin by the play. Now the next one, we've got the O as the vowel and the A as the vowel. The N and the T are the consonants in between. You divide between the N and T because they're the consonants. The accent is on the first syllable. Alright, we have a short vowel because it's followed by a consonant. Short vowel followed by a consonant. We also have two K backs. The C here is making the... We need a janitor on the second and third grade hall. A janitor on the second and third grade hall. Thank you. Sorry. K back here. And then we have the K sound here. So we need a K back here. Now we can sound it out. K on con tact con tact Contact. Okay. Now, on the back of this paper, you have five more vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel words. The rule is at the top. I would have them code them today. They need to get used to doing the uh, coding for these. Have them sound them out and make sure they can do each vowel, I mean each syllable sound for you and sound the word out and match the picture to the words. All right, if you need me to check them, you may email me a picture of it or you can send it through Dojo if you're okay with it and you know how to do it, that's fine. But if you're not comfortable with checking this, that's fine to send me a picture and I'll let you know that it's good or... I can send you a picture back of what it should look like. Either way, I don't mind sending you responses back on how to do this. Um, so just let me know if you need something with this part. I'll be glad to help you. If you have any other questions, let me know.